There's a cool new 3D printer on board the International Space Station, and students here on the ground are able to get involved with exactly how it's used. We've got uh, at the NASA Payload Operations Integration Center at the Marshall Space Flight Center, uh, Bill Hubscher on hand to tell us more. Bill? Thanks very much, Brandy. As astronauts travel further into space, the ability to 3D print tools and equipment that they need right then is absolutely essential. Well, students with the Future Engineers program are being challenged to decide what they would print in space. Our Lori Meggs caught up with Deanne Bell to learn how the challenge works. Future Engineers is an online platform. It's a website, futureengineers.org, and we're hosting the first ever 3D Printing in Space Challenge. Um, the 3D Printing in Space Challenge is our partnership between the American Society of Mechanical Engineers Foundation and NASA, and we're challenging K-12 through students in the U.S. to design 3D models for space, and the winning student will have their design 3D printed on the space station, and they'll also get a trip to Huntsville where they can see it printed live at Payload Operations Center. For folks who don't know what a 3D printer is, what are we talking about here? So 3D printing technology is becoming all the buzz in pop culture. For engineers, it's been around for quite some time, but um, the basic 3D printers that you see in consumer markets, it's, it's almost like a glue gun that, that lays down plastic layer by layer by layer. And they're, part, they're starting to pop up in classrooms and in libraries and in maker spaces. And so we want to take this, the excitement of 3D printing in space and bring it into the education community and give students a, a challenge um, that challenges them to solve real world problems. You know, we're not going to print toys in space. Uh, we're going to actually encourage them to, to be the future workforce, to be those that are designing models that can actually be used um, as, as different implements up in space. How can students get involved? Right. So our first challenge launches soon, and uh, you can go to futureengineers.org, and you can sign in. You sign in for your age group. We have two age groups. We have 13 and above and below 13, and there's different prizes for the different age groups. And on the site, there's all kinds of awesome science lessons and media content and, and information to help you get started. We realize making a 3D model isn't necessarily something you just do immediately, um, but we're here to help you out and, and to, to get students all up to speed on how to take their ideas and make it into a 3D print reality in their hands. How did this idea come about? So this idea came about, uh, it's, it's a bit of a brainchild between myself and Nikki Werkheiser, who's the 3D print program manager uh, in Huntsville. Um, we both are really passionate about um, extending what NASA research, what, what research is being done at NASA to the general population and to the future workforce. You know, uh, when you look at the 3D printing in space program, the zero G uh, the technology demonstration that's going up, it's about the hardware. It's about proving the capabilities. But this is, has a slightly different um, mission because Future Engineers is about uh, empowering the future workforce that's going to use that 3D printer. And whether it's on the space station or our future astronauts that go to Mars, they're going to have to be able to manufacture in space to solve problems and to innovate on the spot. So is this for students, teachers, or both? So the first Future Engineers Challenge is it's for individuals. So individuals can go online to the site. They can register. Um, you know, if they're below a certain age, we automate that to the parents so that everyone knows that, that they're involved in participating. But it's really aimed at the greater education uh, community as a whole. We encourage teachers to bring these challenges into the classrooms. We encourage after-school programs to bring these challenges into their after-school computer labs and their STEM and their STEAM uh, resource labs. So it, it's really aimed at a, a broad goal, but individually each student submits their design that they make themselves all on their own and the winning one gets printed on the space station. As Deanne mentioned, the winners of this challenge will get a chance to visit us here at the Marshall Space Flight Center and tour the Payload Operations Integration Center. So again, if someone you know or yourself would like to get involved in the challenge, you have until December the 15th to go to futureengineers.org and enter. That's it for us at the Payload Operations Integration Center. Now back to you at Mission Control in Houston.